and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some uh, Abzan Legends. <laughs> I almost said Azoria Circle. That was the deck that we just got done playing. But no, we're at Abzan Legends again in Historic, our second Abzan Historic deck today. Um, had a had a whole lot of fun with our other Abzan Historic deck, Abzan Bugler. And this is another deck that I've had a lot of fun with in the past playing. Now, the other times that we've played this deck, we did have Once Upon a Time to help us out. That card has now been banned. Same with Oko, which I'm thrilled about because this deck was not very good against Oko at all. That was definitely the, the singular card that was the best against our deck. And the reason why is because we're trying to play some expensive but really cool legendary creatures. You know, we have things like Lyra Dawnbringer getting turned into an Elk or Shalai. That hurts. That definitely hurts. Uh, of course, the reason why we're playing all these legends, we have a couple of huge payoffs. We have Captain Sisse, 4 mana, 2-2, two, two, which that's not great stats, but you can tap it and search your library for any legendary card. Reveal it, put it into your hand. Any legendary card. So do you need a removal spell? Go put Othakai into your hand. You need a sweeper? Go put Urza's Ruinous Blast. You want some huge card advantage? The Great Henge. Planeswalkers, these are legendary cards. So not only just legendary creatures, any legendary card. So basically everything in our deck. You want a, a huge effect late in the game? We got Kamal's Juridic Vow. Everything except for these nine creatures and and the lands. Everything else is a legendary card. Of course, Kethis also makes our legendary spells cost one less to cast and can cast some legendary spells from our graveyard later on whenever we can use that ability. So we got those two cards that, that really... Uh, help us out um but then yeah besides that a whole bunch of ones and twos because depending on what we want to find with captain sisse uh we have more options um we also have fauna shaman that can go find our captain sisse or find any other creature that we need and then we have our acceleration here with land war elf and paradise druid to replace the to replace the four once upon a times um i put in the fourth paradise druid a vivian's arc bow just kind of have this in here and, um, you know, really want to be activating it for five, maybe putting in instant speed, Lyra Dawnbringers or Kethis. Wow, that's Kenrith. Sorry, or Ken Kenrith or Kethis or Shalai. Instant speed, Captain Sisse is always good. So that was two. And then I put in a, a main deck, Kaya Orzov Usurper. That's the third one. And then we just put in another land, basically put in a 25th land. We only had 24 before because once upon a time, let us cheat on lands. So that's what we did to replace the four Once Upon a Times. All right, besides that, basically everything's the same. I'm going to keep the Ashiox, even though uh, this, is the car, this is the card that may need to be replaced. But I'm going to keep it because it is a legendary spell. It's good against control because it just eats up their library against the control decks. Um, but with Field of the Dead also being banned, maybe this is the card that needs to go. Uh, but it's also good against, of course, the Kethis combo decks that are around. So I'm going to try keeping the Ashiox, but we'll see. Like That could be a, a different sideboard card. Anyway, we're going to play Ranked. We're going to play some Ranked with the deck. Um, traditional Historic Ranked. Abzan Legends. Let's go. I don't think there are any Legendary Lands in Standard, or in Historic. I don't believe so. I don't think so. There's none in standard, so it'd have to have been one that rotated out. But, like, there are legendary lands, if you think about the, the flip cards, you know, like Search for Iskanta flipping into a legendary land, that kind of stuff. But not, I don't think there's a legendary land just to go fetch. But that's a good question. If anybody wants to do, like, a search and... Um, And let me know. But I don't believe so. Because that would be an interesting thing to be able to go grab. <laughs> yeah, Rex. Yeah. They got banned in Historic. Well, it was, like, it was on Monday, I think. But technically, they're not banned. I know. You don't get to play your Field of the Deads now anywhere. Pioneer. Standard. But... Technically, they're not banned. They're suspended, which is just a fancy way of saying banned. It's their new way of saying banned. But they basically said by March. 
think they said by March. Yeah, by March they will either be banned for good, which is what they are right now, or they'll be unbanned. Which is just another option of something that could happen right now anyway. No, the no the black land count. You know the you're thinking Cabal Stronghold. No, that was not legendary. Yuck. Yuck. Torbrand's a good one. Wait, Torbrand is legendary, isn't... Yeah, Torbrand's legendary. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't play the third Ruinous Blast then, because Torbrand's legendary. They played a Chandra also. Alright, we'll just play the two. Yeah, I do. I do like the bannings of Oko, Once Upon a Time, Field of the Dead. Yeah, I think I think those are those are. Uh, I, I don't miss those cards. Um, especially Yoko. Allows, allows us to play cool decks like this. Land drops this time, which is definitely important when we have the four and five mana legendary cards that we have that are so impactful. Things like Shalai, Lyra, those things just be mono red if you can cast them. Good old check lands. Oh, how you're missed. life hurts. So of course they have the Lava Coil just to take out Murderous Rider, but then if they do Lava Coil the Murderous Rider, then they're not casting the Chain Whirler. Ugh, 
all these spells I can't cast. Uh, to be able to cast this, you have to have... It's a legendary sorcery, so you have to have a legendary creature or planeswalker in a play. Which, obviously, we do not have a legendary creature or planeswalker in play. Now we do. But now it's kind of too late. Now it's kind of too late. Because now we're dead. I mean, all they have to do is just activate Castle and we die. They can also do that. Well, that's the first time we've lost a Mono Red with that deck. Torbrand was, was definitely a, a big part of that, though. That was the first time that we, we played against Torbrand. And also our, our draws weren't so good. We need one, the once upon a time helping us out. No more, no more once upon a time. Yeah, this is a new icon. This is like a friends list thing. So we have, I guess, I have two friends that are online right now. So yeah, that's a that's a new thing. Is there a way to make this hidden? Yeah, the Gruul Henge was a standard deck. Um, the the historic decks have an H next to them. So the two Abzan decks were historic because they have the H there next to them. Hmm. Alright, Mono Red. I like our chances. If we draw a land, we can go Kethys plus. I don't really mind them using Burn Spell here on Questing Beast. I'll take that two for one trade. All right, so Fauna Shaman will go get, we'll start going getting some more legendary creatures that will help us out. Darn. We're going to turn Paradise Druid into a Shalai to start with. Oh, well, there's Shalai anyway. That'll work. All right, Rex, have a good night. Hmm. 
Hmm. Could just keep the Paradise Druid in hand just to discard to Arcbow. But we really do want more mana because, like, if we can get to... We really want to get to, like, seven mana for Druidic Vow. Or at least six. Like, we want a good amount of mana with Druidic Vow. Boo. Uh, so now we have the, should we play Druidic Vow for four or do we Arcbow for five? We have the Conundrum. I think we should probably just Druidic Vow for four first. So we can just have more, more lands in play before we start Arcbowing. Oh, right. It costs one less because of Paradise, because of Kethys. We get to go for five. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because five puts Lyra Dawnbringer into play. So that's awesome. And of course we can we can recast Juridic Vow from the graveyard with Kethis. That's pretty cool. I probably should just play the Knight of Autumns. I, I don't think I played Knight of Autumn last time. I probably should just play these. All right, we're going to switch it up a little bit. I'll take this Great Henge out, play an extra Ruinous Blast. And not play the... Not play the Murderous Riders, but play... Um, Knight of Autumns instead. I know, I miss Lyra in Standard too. All their cards are like two for ones. Like, kill your land war off, and we still got a four three. Kill your land war off, we still got a three three. Interesting. Cool. 
They did not play the Bone Crusher Giant. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Oh, wait. That was a bad play. That was the Vivian minus, not just like, which card do you want to take? <laughs> yeah, that's a fun. So obviously we just can't even cast that, that Vivian now, it's an, or that Vraska now, it's in exile. I needed to take the Knight of Autumn, of course. Yeah, that was a pun. If I say put counters on the Knight of Autumn, they just shoot the Knight of Autumn. Yeah, that, that was... That was a pun on my part. I could have another Knight of Autumn in hand. Looking pretty good here, though. But you never know. I got I got the three Urza's Ruinous Blast. Maybe we just draw one of those. Come back, maybe a Lyra Dawnbringer. Oh. All right, well. So much for me having that extra Knight of Autumn that I just wasted. Really just wasted both my Knight of, my Knight of Autumns. Yeah, I just, <laughs> that happens, we've been streaming for 11 hours now, I just kind of had like a, a brain fart there with the, with the Vivian, I just lit up to see the Vraska. I don't know if that was really going to change that game. All right, we're on the play. We don't need to be as fast. And obviously, like, these, these Chain Whirlers and stuff are just killing my 1-1s. One I'm going to take out the Llanowar Elf and play some Duress instead. Maybe take a Burn Spell. Have something a little bit more valuable. Certainly hope not a Chain Whirler to kill my Paradise Druid, so I'm not playing another Paradise Druid. Come 
before I make you disappear. An unfortunate casualty. I guess I don't have five mana now. We need to untap with a legendary permanent to be able to ruin his blast, but we're not going to be able to do that. Dang. Yeah, they had some good answers. We did a really bad job of just drawing mana creatures in the in the late game in those losses too. Kept on doing that. Like the game two we lost, we just kept drawing land war else. I boarded all of them out and then we just drew every single one of our Paradise Druids. That hurt, but yeah, they had very good answers. I thought that Frasca was gonna stay alive at six loyalty and and me having a blocker. But the the two one mana haste creatures that both pumped up two power and pumped up the other knight. So really they got five five haste damage and two mana. That was pretty great. And then yeah, you know they just didn't have the coil for the beast. If we could just untap with beast, we would have cast the ruinous blast and life would have been better, but I guess we've now lost to mono red twice with the deck. I guess we're 0 2 after once upon a time, but I still don't feel bad about the matchup. It's just Mono Red's, Mono Red's really good in Historic. He'll win. I wouldn't mind playing against it again, though. We'll get him next time. Yeah, Mono Red's not very good right now in Standard. If you're asking, has Mono Red not been... Has Mono Red ever been bad in any format? Yeah, it's...
not too good in current standard. Well, unfortunately, Soren can kill Captain Sisse. Ooh, that was a good draw. Just get that thing out here. If I can survive long enough to untap with Captain Sisse, because if we play Captain Sisse and we untap with Captain Sisse, we get to go grab Urza's Ruinous Blast and exile our board, and that's basically it. But can we survive long enough to do that? Is the question. Except me. All right, looks like we have to play the Tulsmer to try to stay alive. Lieutenant getting in there. All right, well, it's all about... We're going down to one. It's kind of all about uh, if they draw Soren or not. I like our chances if they do not draw Soren. But obviously, if they draw Soren, they can just kill us. They have to draw like Soren or removal. Got to draw one of those, one of those kind of things this turn. I, I grow bored with this fight. All right, no Soren, no removal. Hey, Starman, everything's going good. Yeah, new, yep, new computer is working just fine. Been very happy with it. Alright, just to say they can't target us. 
in case they had something that dealt one damage to us somehow. And also now my Captain Sisse has Hexproof. Ooh, they need that Soren just a turn earlier. Yeah, now we go grab Lyra, give the Shalai lifelink. This is a very important Ruinous Blast matchup. Fluky Flit! Wow! Oh my gosh, Fluky Flit, thank you so much! So we have five people who wanted to see their deck played but couldn't afford it otherwise. Todd, you can choose you you can choose first come first serve or people have been here the longest or whatever you want. But I wanted to say thanks for the entertaining twelve hour stream. Wow, that is so amazing, Fluky Flit. Thank you so much. Okay, so if you have and I'll I'll ask this on if we don't have enough, I'll ask it on Discord later, but if you have a deck you got a, a unique deck that uh, you know could be standard, could be historic. Uh, something unique that you want to see on stream. Um, you know, get, you know, uh, let's see, get a link of the deck, something like MTG Goldfish here. You know, you can copy paste over to MTG Goldfish. Send a link in the chat if you got something, you, something. Uh, Something spicy you want to see in on stream. Okay, get some decks and then make a poll. We could do that. Yeah, see some spice. Obviously, we don't have any green mana. All right, we'll just go to five. Kind of want to keep that, though. Yeah, thank you so much there, Fluky. Yeah, I'll definitely get, get some deck lists together. A zero permanent deck that wins with Mobilized District and White Castle? Yeah. That sounds pretty awesome. Fortunately, this Evan Legion is going to be a 3 4 this next turn. Don't quite get to kill it with Othakaya. Already attacking for twelve. Get to empty their hand by turn four. Uh, I think this hand is a little bit better than my. Oh, sorry. I think this hand's a little bit better than my mold five. Of uh, play a turn three land war elf. Yep, it was just a little bit better. It's close though. Was pretty close. Uh. 
All right. Well, you know it's Steve. Steve Amen is zero non-land permanent deck. Yeah, full power, full power vampires. All right, better hand for me for sure. Uh, not bringing the murderous riders, just. Alright, they're not gonna be able to kill Vivian with just one attack. I guess we just exile the land with that whiff. Uh, basically, I don't think we really need them. Their creatures, are, for the most part, are gonna be cheaper anyway. And, you know, does it. So yeah, I'm basically just kind of thinking that we don't really need the Murderous Riders for this matchup. You fight like a city brat. Maybe I should have minus. Maybe I should have just ticked up. Captain Sisei. I could have also gone and gotten like Lyra Dawnbringer and played at instant speed whenever they attack into Lyra with the Vivian. Same with Shalai. Like they try to kill my captain, I just flash into Shalai. But it doesn't hurt just get, getting those things exiled. Is kind? Well, their Vivian continuing continuing to whiff. If they have if they have a Soren, they're ahead. Maybe I should just grab Shalai first to protect Captain Sisei. You can still walk away. Instant speed, Lyrodon bringer. How I missed you. Not even paying the four life. Vigilant Lyrodon bringer. Strike now. Strike hard. I guess I don't really instant speed questing beast. 
considering it as haste. The Ceratops likes the questing beast. Yeah, Lyra with Reach. Hmm. Vona, Butcher of Magon. Exiles, destroys. All things begin and end in nature. So we can flash into Kenrith, then untap and put Lyra or Questing Beast back into play. Also. They're just killing themselves with the Champion of Dusk. All right, we're one and two. Awesome, thank you there, Stevo. Anybody else have some spicy decks they want to see on stream? We got free we got five free donation decks. Yeah, it's true, I could use the, the druid for the red to just haste the Kenrith. There and just attack with it. That's true. Stones. I lost so much already. I won't lose more. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Giving Paradise Druid Hexper is pre always pretty sweet. Or sorry, giving it Vigilance. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Giving it Vigilance is always pretty sweet. than you oh wait no that card's just exiled now gosh that's the second time i've done that uh <laughs> Vivian always misses. A Wolf King deck for standard. Awesome. That one looks sweet. Four color tribal wolves. I am not going to sit this one out. Oh, 
I've done the hero thing before. Hmm. Definitely missed that Vivian. But Captain Sisse. All right, don't let them draw extra cards with the Doom Foretolds and also not make me discard cards as well. Yeah, really liking the computer. Yeah, it's it's doing great. Um, as far as what are the the specs, uh, that's what we got. But yeah, definitely really liking it. It's not absolutely perfect, mostly because of. If I had one more mana, I could play Kaya and then Ruinous Blast and then exile the Doom Foretold and exile these things. One more mana would be perfect. Anyway, what I was going to be saying here is that, um, you know, my internet's not perfect. Ooh, they're just sacking the Doom Foretold? Why wouldn't they just sack the, the Mind Stone and then get the Doom Foretold trigger? That's kind of odd. Mm, glad to be here. Your problem I'll be back. Am I dematerializing? That's kind of odd. Huh. No time for Teferi a should, um... Should grind us out here. 
But you never know. Maybe we draw something that kills it. My best draw is Kamal's Druidic Vow. That That's my best draw. Right on schedule. Don't worry. I got this. We have a lot of our sideboard for this matchup. Not just for this matchup, but for these kind of decks in general. A lot of our sideboard is for these kind of decks. I'll be back well done. Look to see me no more. Uh, we're kind of pre-boarded against aggro game one because there's a lot of aggro in the format Let's skip to the good part This might be a bad idea we're gonna be bringing in a lot of stuff um, honestly, we're bringing in 14 cards. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just go and go to sideboard. How do you play Historic? Um, it's, if you hit the, if you don't see it, if you don't see it as an option over on the, like, whenever you hit, like, the, you know, play, play button and on the main screen, if it's not an option, you may need to, um hit a button that's that's around this area where my mouse is there's something that it would say just arena play mode it doesn't look like a button but it's a button and you need to press it and it will go to all play modes and then it'll have everything unlocked all right bringing in those 14 let's see we're cutting ruinous blast cutting lyra uh let's see what else do we want to cut i mean Paradise Druid's gonna go. I think I'll keep Land War Elf over Paradise Druid because it costs costs one and gets us to three. I would normally take out Kaya, but I guess because they're playing. Oh no, we have Ashiok, so yeah, we can just take out Kaya. Ashiok exiles graveyard. We're good there. We're playing a lot less creatures. I do like how Vivian gives our creatures flash, though. But we just don't really have enough creatures to... To play the Champion of the Wilds, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, Tulsimer is fine. I mean, it's two bodies. I can put some good pressure on them. It's fine. I don't think they're going to have anything on turn one. That, Yeah, so like we'll just play the Duress on turn two. So that we let them draw another card, then we get we get a little bit more information. So I could have paid two life to do one damage to them. Man. I, don't know, I guess my life total probably doesn't matter that much. Maybe I should have done that.
fight you can win. I'll protect you. Yeah, there there is single elimination with yeah there's there is a best of one with historic but not in not in ranked for best of one historic you just you just go to the play queue like where it just says play you just take a historic deck um, enter where it says play and you will get matched up against another historic deck. Basically, Shalai is the worst card in my hand. And if they're going to be playing a Kaya's Wrath, I'd, I want them to Wrath Shalai. Got rid of another four lands. Really want to draw like a second, you know, a second Ash Yuck. Really attack their library more because now they have to kill me in the next 24 cards. Sweet. And I'm just just doing that before they, you know, Othakaya kill that. Obviously, they could Othakaya kill Captain Sisse now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's kind of a tough call. Yeah, I'm thinking Vivian. We're just getting the Ashiok. I'm playing Ashiok plus Questing Beast. Uh, it's probably just the Vivian. We just don't get to double spell. Never mind. Yeah, we do. That can't help. I'll be back. Just like before. <sighs> now Kethis can recast Nashiok from the graveyard. Because their life total is basically at 22 right now. It's just 22 cards. Right on schedule. Make another move. Nice. You're fine. 
Alright, their life total 17. So I grab grab the Tulsimer because if, if they play a sweeper here, I think I'd i I'd rather have the two bodies with Tulsimer than the one body with Shalai. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Just make their doom foretold worse. Plus, get that out of here and then exile it as far as Dance of the Mance is concerned. Behold. They're down to 11. Lost my <laughs> and thanks, Frisky Biscuits. Nah, boo. Should activate. Should have gotten rid of Tulsimer. No one said every defeat is a new beginning. Yep, they were dead. All right, Escario, have a good night. Have a good night. All right, I think I, I think how these games are going to turn out. I don't think the Great Henge really matters. I need to play one of these cards. I'm going to play a Paradise Druid. All right, well, no Ashiok. Which is my best card. Playing Overgrown Tomb, because Overgrown Tomb would let me play turn two Ashiok if we draw it. You know, now we have the double black here. If we draw it. No, Hawkeye is not really doing better. I'm worried about him. I'm going to call on Monday if, if he's still not doing better by Monday. But no, I'm kind of worried about him. He's, he's taken... He has two different medicines he's taken right now. But he just kind of seems weaker. He's not really getting that much better. He seems kind of weaker. So I'm... Uh, I'm yeah, I'm worried about Hawkeye. Speaking of Hawkeye, I was just, talk, just talking about you. You want to come up here? He's definitely lost muscle, but he was he's already lost he already lost a little bit of muscle with just having his cold, but he's it seems like he's still it's not really Hey, people want to say hi. Come on up here. Oh, I just... I <clears throat> could have played the Temple Garden and then not lost the two life there.
What's wrong with Hawkeye? I don't know. He just kind of has, like, he's had like a cold. But he's taking some medicine that's supposed to help him out, but I don't, hasn't really had that effect. Hmm. That was a really good quality dance there. So I need another land. We either need another land to be able to play the Garrick, or we need another land to be able to play Kethys and then plus Questing Beast. We need another land for that too. They get to gain three life with Golden Egg, though. These Golden Eggs. Um, I don't know, Hawkeye. What do you think? I want to save Murderous Rider if they have five mana to ferry. If I say destroy a golden egg, they sack it. They're probably going to be sacking it anyway. So we just get the two counters on here. No, I am not making this up as I go. Good quality hand over there. All right, we got our best card. They're, they're basically like back up to 20. All they have to do is just sack these golden eggs. That's why usually like attacking their library is easier way to win. Oh, I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. You better you beat me this time. Bravo. Here goes nothing. I can minus one and exile a wolf. Well, that was a good Ashiok. We just got rid of Kaya's Wrath, Kaya's Wrath, Dance. So three Kaya's Wraths and two Dances are gone now. Hey, Wubs. Yeah, we are just talking about you, Hawkeye. More Hawkeye. July Moon Lightstar with a Twitch Prime sub. 
Welcome, welcome. Thanks to the brand new Twitch Prime sub here. Ooh, that's sub number 29 on the day. They have a third dance. Sub number 29 on the day, which actually gets us one away. I was Looks like I was one off, so we're one away from our third sub goal here. Thanks, July, July Moon at Lightstar. You're back from here on out. Uh, cancel. All right, get Kaya out of here. Oh, I wouldn't mind them drawing the lands. And Mad Goji! Getting the gifted sub from Santa Suvi Sack. Thanks, Suvi Sack. And Mad Goji. Welcome to the channel and enjoy the, the emotes. Now you get to throw out the hype boats. Hey, Lightstar. All right, we got to 30. So we hit, we hit three more sub goals towards the next 12 hour stream. That's what we... Um, that's how we do it here. We... Ooh, killing the murderous rider. Um... So we're at 12. No yeah, so every 10 sub goals fight. is, or every 10 subs is a sub goal, and then every 20 sub goals Here. we're doing a 12 hour stream. I wonder how they're attacking these golden eggs. Two at Garrick. One at Ashiok. What are they at? They're at 23. I think I want to try to keep Garrick alive. Oh, thank you so much, Lightstar. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh no, putting Kethis down there. Hmm. So Shalai will protect everything else. Hurry. Trust me, I have a plan. Cause this 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 game doesn't really like Garrick Emblem isn't really how we're gonna win this game. Yeah, I could have could have double chomped and tried to ultimate Garrick, but that's that's just not the most important thing going on here. I'm kind of guessing they're out of dance with the Mance. And so if we get rid of these these golden eggs, it's going to be kind of difficult for them to win. I 
whatever their last card is. Hope I really hope their last card's not interaction. Try not to lose your head out here. Get to ferry out of here. This is a close one, Hawkeye. We're after midnight. We've been streaming for 12 hours. Wow. That's a killer. Now the Doom Foretold takes my Ashiok. Wow, what a turn. And then still, oh my gosh. Wow, what an incredible turn. Yep. We need to move quickly. Brutal. I've got it. Looks like they got us now. Yeah, GG. All right, one and three. So the thing is, is like the record. Move that back out now. Hawk, Hawk guys, move over there. Record doesn't always tell the story. Like, well, I mean, it does tell the story. The, the you know, like what we won and lost. But you know, like this, this video may get like less views on YouTube. People will be like, oh, it's a one three historic deck. We're not going to watch it, kind of thing. But this, this deck, like honestly, all three matches that we lost, we lost to Mono Red, Mono Red, and that Esper Doom. And I like, I like those matchups. Like, I think that we're going to win more than we're going to lose in those matchups. Um, you know, I think, like, I think this, like, we played just some close games. Like, it wasn't that far off from a 4-0, <laughs> even though we went 1-3, and three, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it's still, like, the last few slots kind of, um, still kind of working on the last few slots. I think the the Vivian Arcbow, the Great Henge, those two cards, I think those probably should be replaced um, sideboard, I don't know if I love the Murderous Riders. I basically have Murderous Rider because, like, Vivian Reed grabs Murderous Rider, which is really nice. But maybe that could be something else. But it wasn't bad, though. Um, but I, I think the main deck, I think I'm kind of two cards off. I think the arc, I was really not too happy with the Great Henge. Um, and not really with Arcbow either. I would like another card that costs two mana for this Arcbow. But maybe just like main deck Garrick or something like that for the Great Henge instead. Um, no, I don't. I don't really want Nissa. We're not really ramping into anything. Um, questing Beast was awesome. Could just be. Could be like a third Questing Beast. It's kind of just always awesome. So yeah, I'll I'll tell you, you know like sleep on it, think about it. It's it's late here. Um This deck felt really good too. You know, the the Abzan Bugler felt better. 
as far as Abzan decks go, but I really like this deck. This deck's a lot of fun to play with these legendary cards. Uh, Kethis is just so good. Man, that Kethis was awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, Great Henge. Great Henge was definitely better with the Once Upon a Times. I think the Great Henge, without the Once Upon a Times, that we have a less concentration of creatures. We're, we're less reliably hitting like big creatures and stuff, and it's making the Great Henge worse. And of course, that was a good card to cast off the Great Henge, also. So, yeah, I think the Great Henge should go. Um, and yeah, I think the Arc Bow probably should be replaced, also. Anyway. That's Abzan Legends, though. Fun deck. Captain Sisse is awesome. Um, even though we won three, I think that we lost to some good matchups, and maybe maybe changing those two cards out could help. But um, yeah, like I I would I'd be very confident running back those exact same four matchups with the same deck and doing very well again. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching the historic Abzan Legends. I I kind of expect this to be a lower viewed video since it was only one and three, and it's historic. Hopefully not, though. But So if y'all are watching, I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave some comments about the deck. Uh, if you got ideas for those two slots, if you got, like, an idea for a good two-drop for this deck, um, you know, let me know. But thank you so much for watching some Abzan Legends, and I'll see you for the next video.